Impaired driving deaths has gone up to 40% compared to last year. Yeah, I just thought I'd say that. Impaired driving. It's not distracted. Because anything that can impair your fucking attention span is going to cause you to kill someone or severely injure somebody or cause incredible property damage or smashing into another vehicle. T-bone, rear end, head on. You know what I'm talking about. Or side swipe. Or taking out their door, taking out their mirror. That's what happens when you drive impaired. Distracted and impaired driving should be merged. The same consequences should apply to distracted driving because you are impaired. No matter what, you are fucking impaired. It's only an excuse that they call it distracted. No, I call it impaired driving because anything that can impair your attention span puts you at risk of causing damage from what I highlighted previously. Don't drive impaired. Don't drive impaired. That's what I'm trying to tell you. There are still distractions. It's called impaired driving. Impaired operation of a motor vehicle. It is not called distracted operation of a motor vehicle. Okay? That's just how it is. If you don't like what I'm saying, read the fucking laws. If you also don't like following rules or the laws, read the driver's handbook. There is this one part in the first page that says driving is a privilege, not a right. It's in the paper copy and in the online copy. Not hard to figure that out. And if you simply also can't follow those simple rules, don't fucking drive. If you can't get off your phone at all, don't fucking drive. Take the TTC. Take local buses. Take a cab. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Let somebody else do the driving for you if you cannot drive responsibly and not impaired. Thank you.